Oops. Okay, guys, now I'm going to talk a little bit about physical and energy. And I think it was, um, I think it was maybe Dominique that had a question about Michelle whenever I said that she was a physical being. And how could that be when she does painting and dances and sees inner, and sees 5D creatures? All right. So let me see if I go into this a little bit more. I also had this conversation in Baton Rouge a little bit too. All right. There are many, many more levels of who we are than what I am going to explain to you. The ones that I'm talking about are the ones that you're going to, to relate to. So when I was in my NDE, I went outside of this game and I went to the other side into now space and knew, remembered who I am as an entity. And the entity that I am on the other side, outside this game, outside the game, the game, is primary, primarily energy. Okay? All right. Stephanie and Michelle, both of them, easy. Steph and Michelle. Outside the game are primarily physical. And I'm talking outside the game here. Now, when I talk about energy and physical from this perspective, what I'm talking about is outside this game. The entity that you are, have always been, will always be outside this game. What is your preference? When you're a creator God, do you prefer creating with primarily energy, which translates to you would look at as music, light, um, and just flat out pure energy, just pure energy. Or are you a type of being that likes to create with physicality? Now I'm not talking about physicality like in this game. 3D physicality is the densest form of physical. There's much, much more to it than just the physical that you see here. So now we have an issue. We've got a word that I don't know what to call it. So what I have said before is I've said skin suit. So here you are, this entity over here. This is me. And here's me and here's Steph and Michelle. And we're entities. We come boom down on into this game. And here's the game that we're in right now. That at the bottom of, most of us, all of us, that, that I've talked to, came down and were in 3D physicality. What is called 3D physicality. 3D physicality. In this game, here's Gaia. There's Gaia. Okay. Out of Gaia, made up of Gaia, is me, Steph, Michelle. These entities up here, me, preferring physical creations, Steph and Michelle creating physicality creations, plop into and join with a physical skin suit made up of Gaia, made up of Gaia. So this entity joins with the physical skin suit that is Gaia, all right? Now, when this physical part of you had to come down in this game, like I've said before, you had to play the duality game, okay? couple things you had to deal with to be in 3D planet Earth on Gaia is number one, you had to have a skin suit. Number two, you had to choose whether you're going to be male or female and where the energy to that was going to be. How you were going to divide up the masculine and the feminine energies um, with the breakdown is, as I've said, we're gods going down, 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 down. Very complicated. There's, of course part of you that's way, way higher, a higher self. And then there's a part of you that's right above where you are right here. I'm going to call that your first higher self. 
And that higher self, let's take me over here. I came down here, and this part of me up here came down, got a skin suit, and then I took the, the energies that are feminine, and I attributed those energies, most of them, to my higher self. The masculine, I divvied up to my physical self. That physical self is within the skin suit. Okay? So the skin suit is physical, but physical, your physical part of yourself, that physicality that I've talked about, whenever you came down here and you divided energetically, this had come down and you had to divide it down into becoming physical. There's also, let's see, kind of like up here, the entity that is me, that it prefers energy. When I came down here, and I've got the feminine part of me that's in my higher self, which I would consider more the energetic part of me, which matches the skin suit. And then physicality part of me, which it is housed within this skin suit, whereas the higher self is kind of outside the skin suit. The physical aspect of this, which is a smaller um, part of me, sort of, is... I, I gave the masculine attributes because we have to divide it. It's all about duality and fractally now. So the physical aspect of me from out on the other side came in and it is inhabits this skin suit made up of Gaia. And then my higher self, which is the energetic aspect of me from the other side, is my higher self. These two come together, interact um, within Gaia's skin suit. Okay? Now, as we raise our vibrations, as I raise my vibrations and go up to 5D, what will happen is this masculine feminine, uh, this masculine physical side of me will raise its vibrations, lose a lot of the belief systems, start defractaling in many, many ways, and it will eventually merge with this higher self part of me, right there. And by the time all of that is done, where the masculine and the feminine, energy and physicality of the entity who inhabits the skin suit, merges and balances and raises the vibration and, and makes the density of this physical skin suit lighter, when all of that is done and ha done happening, and all of the fractaline is taken way, 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 way down, so that for the most part, the biggest one left will be light and dark. Then I'll be right at mid-range of 5D. At that point, I'll be able to merge it all together, collapse it into now time, and step outside of the game, or back and forth in and outside of the game. Whenever I get to 5D, whenever this stuff happens, this is when the skin suit with all of this parts of the God that I am all merge together on a planet that is a higher vibration than this skin suit is made up of that planet. Then this skin suit won't be near as rigid. And this is where the physical body that you know of right now, when it's got all of this other information defractaled into it, that's how it can start to shapeshift, morph, become other things. Because it's a part of the defractaling. Much harder to do that down in 3D, where everything is so busted apart, separated by big, big spaces and belief systems. Okay, hopefully that will help a little bit what that means. So, basically... When I say that Stephanie and Michelle, that they are energy beings, it's, I mean, they're physical beings, is on the other side, outside, in other games, physicality is created with resistance. Short and simple. Resistance equals physicality. 
the more resistance, the more dense the physicality. So increase resistance, increases dense physicality, physicality, okay? These guys, Steph and Michelle, absolutely are physical creators. They love physicality, absolutely love it. They don't enjoy dense physicality. They don't enjoy dense physicality. Most star seeds aren't anywhere close to being okay with the denseness of 3D. They're not even comfortable with 4D. They'll start to get comfortable with 5D. And mid-range 5D, there's a lot of star seeds that, that create with that kind of density. Okay? So whenever you're dealing with, like me, energy beings, when we create, there is resistance, but it is so slight that it's done and it's so fast. It's just think, think music and light, okay? Versus um, building a house, okay? An energy being is more used to creating with music and light and a physical being is more like um, uh, doing a painting, doing a painting. Much more um, precision is with physicality. Much more detail is done with physicality, which is the reason why 3D was done, because it's fractaled down so much that there's so much uh, detail that a god can come in. So it was fractaled down and down and down and down. So it was a tiny little part of source that a god could get into a human skin suit and experience it from that way, way tiny, tiny, tiny part of what source is. It's the whole point. Now you look at it and you think, well, why would we do that? It's such a struggle. The point is because of that detail of getting so far away from the all that is, as far away from as the all that is as possible to the tiniest dot of what is in all the, the all that is so that you can experience instead of experience it from up here where you can totally experience source and all that's in it at once to down here so you can really take a tiny little portion of the all that is and put it in a linear time space and really analyze it from all different aspects. All different ways that you can look at this teeny tiny little drop of something. That's why it's done. Whether that makes any sense to you or not, these people that are extreme physicality creators are the ones that are long-term humans. They not only love physicality, but they love extreme too. Whereas Stephanie and Michelle love physicality, but they love physicality with far less resistance. And I like energy creations with little to no uh, resistance. There's always some resistance, but it's so slight. Okay, hopefully that will explain those differences with resistance and uh, physicality and the difference between, I'm going to call this up here, energy beings, phys physical beings, and then down here will be the skin suit. Skin suit will change. And all of these things, all of this and much, much more interacts together. And remember, if you'll continue to remember and think, an atom is in a molecule. A molecule is within a, a parts of a cell. Uh, parts of a cell make up cells. Cells make up a finger. A finger is in a hand. A hand is in a body. A body is in a family. On and on. That doesn't throw you at all for me to say that. This is just more of the same as above, so below. There is layer within layer within layer within layer within layer. And eventually... It will go up so that you start out and everything is source. Everything is source. So everything is in source or the all that is. It's everything. Every, 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 everything. And then we come out of it and really it's more like most of the time. 
we don't come out of source and are who we are. Usually we come out in a large group, a large, we'll say group. And then that large group breaks down smaller groups and then smaller groups and smaller. And down here is me or you. Now you can at any time, I can go back in and go right back up here. I don't have to go up through these groups, but you have a, an affinity with these different you have an affinity with it. And you can go back up, you can join different groups and come back down, you go sideways, you go all, all over the place. And these groups will even get together, like this large group will get over with another large group, and they'll join together in a different large group. You may leave this group and go to another group altogether, disengage from these. Anything can be created that way. Anything. The only difference is that whenever I talk to you about atoms and molecules and cells, you can't imagine that those could, you know, a, a, a molecule could move from my finger and move over here and, and jump in another planet, which is what you can do uh, outside of this game. Okay? Well, that's probably enough for this one. So uh, I think I answered several questions that were out there. If I didn't cover the question that you asked, please ask again, okay? Thanks, guys. I really appreciate your questions. It helps me know which way to go on these. So please ask more, okay? And if I missed yours, be sure and tell me, okay? I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.